Hi everyone and welcome to the doll room or welcome back if you are returning. Now my name is Candy and here in the doll room I talk all things dolls and doll collecting. Now today I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do an unboxing but I am also going to pull into play with that unboxing a tarot reading. Now I've got this gorgeous beautiful creatures tarot which I absolutely love. I think the artwork of Jasmine Beckett Griffith in this deck is just perfect for a doll room. They, they, these, these figures have got these beautiful big eyes and it just reminds me totally of the beautiful big eyes of Rainbow High and Shadow High. So today I'm going to unbox one of my very first Rainbow High dolls I ever bought when I first came back to doll collecting. Um, but I'm going to do a tarot reading around the doll. Now when I buy a new tarot deck I always do a get to know me reading for the deck. So I ask the deck who are you? What are you good at doing? What are you not so good at doing? Who do you think I am and what's our relationship going to be together and what can I learn from you? How about I do that for a doll as well? I ask the doll who she is and what she's good at, what she might not be so good at, and what our relationship will be work together. And I know that sounds really woo-woo, and it probably is, but I am kind of a bit woo-woo, so, um, but I think, even if you think, oh, well, that's odd, you can't argue with the fact that when you've got a big collection of dolls, they kind of take on different roles. One doll might be like a really gorgeous comfort doll. Another doll might be there just for you to, to look at and to uplift your spirits. There might be another doll that you love thrown in your bag and taking on adventures with you. The dolls have different energies. So if that's the case, then a reading isn't that far-fetched for a doll. It is just really useful to tap into the energy. So, what doll am I unboxing today? Um, like I said, it was one of the first dolls I bought when I came back to doll collecting after a 20-year break. The very first time I ever saw Rainbow High or Shadow High in the shops. This is Delilah Fields. She's absolutely gorgeous. Can you believe that when I walked into Smith's for that very first time coming back to doll collecting, she was on sale for £14. There is no way that you would be able to find this beauty for £14 now, not at all. So she was part of this range. I'm not quite sure what series she was in. Was she in series two or series three? Um, possibly series three. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's one of my all time favorite Rainbow High dolls. Let's get her out of the box and then let's do a tarot reading around her energy. So it is so horrendously hot in Britain at the minute. I've had to put the fan on so I hope the noise is not too distracting. Now how to get into this box. So I seem to have got into the box from the back. So we are doing the stand first and it is a beautiful sort of yellow glitter clear stand which I love. Oh my gosh here she is out of the box. She is absolutely gorgeous. I, her hair is just so beautiful. There are a few like this one curl here is a little bit little bit crunchy but the rest of the hair it's not too bad to be honest and I'm quite loath to wash it just because I just love those curls look at those curls um, she's got the most gorgeous face her outfit is beautiful I'm gonna put her on the stand so we can have a proper look at her I think she is absolutely gorgeous so if we start at the top she's got these 
amazing daisy hair clips i suppose they are like bunches uh, which have got like a glitter texture in the middle so there's two different textures on her sort of hair hair bunches so she's got the two bunches caught here and then all of this long gorgeous curly blonde hair so of course this is a doll that they made that it has got albinism so she doesn't have the pigment in her hair that's why she's got very pale hair she's also got these sort of white eyelashes without any pigment can you see that isn't that just so beautiful and look, even the freckles i think this is my favorite bit of the whole doll even the freckles have no pigment but they're still there i just think she's absolutely gorgeous she's got the most beautiful beautiful face I love the yellow eye makeup it just goes with her whole colouring the white lines in her eyebrows as well and that sort of yellowy white sort of baby hairs painted on her lips are just divine she is just an absolute beauty it doesn't matter what angle you put her at she's beautiful um, her earrings are gorgeous so she's got little bee earrings which is just divine you can see her bee, bee earring in that side yeah she's beautiful if we come down to her clothes that she wears she's got this gorgeous kind of like a, a royal see-through one with embroidery anglaise on on the bottom i mean look at that work there with sort of gold studs she's got little pockets at the top the attention to detail she's got a belt with an r for rainbow on she's got oh my gosh look at that bracelet guys it's got like a, a detailed daisy bracelet on there isn't that incredible absolutely amazing she's got little daisy motifs and that goes all the way round and underneath that she's got a um, three layer she's got a three layer skirt with net and satin underneath she is just so gorgeous um, if we come down to her boots so she's got these white and gold boots with an r and h on we've got that b motif in dots there which kind of mirrors her yellow freckles which i love and then you've got dot motifs around the top of the boot and around the faux buckle she's got yellow heels as well oh my gosh she's absolutely darling she's got lace socks on as well she is an absolute darling gosh and we haven't even looked at the second outfit so she's got daisy shoes here which are just completely stunning and in this box here we have a little yellow sort of crop top with puff sleeves and white jeans and daisy embroidery all the way down to so a kind of torn edge just absolutely completely and utterly stunning i just love her um her glasses are just really fantastic with the cutaway edge so we're going to put the glasses back on they say rainbow on the arm and they've got little white ends as well just stunning so it's always hit or miss with me whether whether a doll is going to be wearing their glasses or not i tend not to like glasses or anything like that on a doll but these i love on her just think she's fabulous okay let's do something a little bit different now then let's do our tarot reading to find out about delilah fields my delilah fields in this doll room it might be very different to your delilah fields in your doll room or on your doll shelf but what about my Delilah field? So we're going to turn to tarot, which is one of my all-time favourite obsessions, along with dolls. Um, I've been reading tarot for a number of years now. Tarot is what actually brought me onto 
YouTube and I have done tarot readings in the Dawn Room as well and December sees me using the Dawn Whispers and tarot decks together. Um, we're going to do one more shuffle and then we're going to overhand and we're going to ask the question first of all, um, who are you? So we know that in Rainbow High Law, she's Delilah Fields, we know her character. Wow, I love to get a flyer like that. So who are you? Oh my gosh, don't you just know that it has to be a mermaid mermaids just won't leave so the fish of waters is what we call a court card in the tarot deck this deck is slightly different with its court cards but in another tarot deck this would be the knight of cups which is linked to the suit of water which is to do with emotions and the knight of cups is our romantic our empath so the key word for this card for this deck is empathy so who am i she's somebody that can pick up on emotions so she's going to be great i think for emotional work or if i am having a time struggling to see somebody else's point of view if i need extra empathy towards others or to myself it's going to be a card when I'm seeking either compassion for myself or others, I think. And this is what this doll is embodying. She embodies that sort of empathetic, compassionate side. So already I love doing this with a doll. I um, am feeling that she can come down off a shelf to sit and work with me if I am needing some extra doses of empathy or compassion so that's who she is right we'll pull two cards now for what um what are you good at because we can't all be good at everything and what are you not so good at so what are you good at the lover's card so the lover's card speaks for itself it goes absolutely perfectly with our knight of cups card the knight of cups is like the romantic of the deck he's the lover boy and really good at interpersonal relationships and making choices around interpersonal relationships so to help me with choices to do with relationships the lovers can mean like soulmates or relationships but it's also linked to choices as well and definitely choices around emotions and relationships so that is all really panning out so what are you not so good at delilah what what are you not so good at the bull of earth so earth and water it's very different isn't it if you put too much earth in water it muddies it and if you put too much water in earth it turns it to mud so it would it would seem right that the bull of earth should come out if she's the fish of waters so we've got another court card here so the bull of earth in this deck is would be the king of pentacles in another deck so earthly things when the earthly realm so things like health money jobs the home the everyday practicalities which is as far away from your emotions and the realm of the lovers that you can get this is about putting emotion aside and just getting down to the day-to-day -day, step by step and the king of pentacles or the bull of earths in this case is just that a uh, very dependable very loyal very trustworthy person that just can be trusted to be the rock the bedrock of life and the practicalities of life that step-by-step -step approach can also lead to stubborn stubborn as a bull it's right there in the name of the card so you can get a little bit stubborn and set in your ways which is as far away from say the high emotion of an empath or the lovers so i think that this doll can sometimes get lost when there's practical advice needed the next step a dependable not heartfelt 
step where you're following your emotions but where you're following your head this doll is much more about the emotional realm rather than the sensible realm of the head so that's what she's not so good at so those are three cards that depict her now i'm going to ask the doll a question who does she think who does she think i am so let's see who does she think I am? So what we're doing now, we're just throwing in some questions to try and define what we might pull the doll off the shelf for. She thinks I'm the nymph of water. No way. So I'm pretty certain that the nymph cards kind of represent the pages that the page so this would be the page of cups but it does represent the ocean as well and believe it or not my significator out of all of seven the 78 cards in a tarot deck is the page of cups so this reading actually pulled out my significator card which is my significator card in any tarot it's the card that I most associate with it's like the creative childlike sort of naive adult that's incredibly creative very empathetic is very pulled to the ocean will run to the ocean I often associate this card with the myth of the selkie as well so oh my gosh for that card to come out that is incredible okay the next card is what lessons have you got to teach me and for this i'll also say or what would you like to come down off the shelf for like what situations would you need to come off the shelf and we have the seven of air which would be the seven of swords in another deck now the sword suit or the air is all about thought and intellect it can be quite a difficult suit as well so the seven of swords is often called the trickster card or the thief card it's about things being stolen from you and the key word for this card in this deck is treachery it's things being stolen from you and what you've got you've got a garden princess being tricked by dragons garden dragons and orchids that are tricking her senses um, and she feels helpless to decipher what's true and what isn't she doesn't trust anybody anymore and she's expecting betrayals and backstabbings now if we think about who Delilah is she is the romantic of the of, of the deck the knight of cups we also got the lovers for things she's good at and for being empathetic and compassionate this really again is about interpersonal relationships if you can't quite work out emotionally who you're dealing with and my naivety might be kicking in a bit i'm not very practical she's not very pra practical but she could possibly help you decipher on an emotional level whether somebody is deceiving you or not it's she's going to help me keep boundaries in place so she might be a doll that definitely comes down when i i'm not sure whether the smoke and mirrors going on and i need some help to trust somebody or distrust i suppose to be empathetic and compassionate you're coming at you're giving them with compassion the benefit of the doubt but not stupidly your boundaries are still in place until you can really decipher who they are so delilah might help me not rush into interpersonal relationships and then lastly what will our relationship together be like oh my gosh we've got the world card so we the world card denotes like a ending and a step into a new space so I think the new space here is about self-trust it's about letting go of not trusting myself anymore 
and stepping into self-trust like I can decipher the tricksters now I can hold my boundaries firm until I'm sure and if I'm not sure and confusion reigns and I can walk away and it really is about time that I did complete the cycle of not trusting myself anymore or not feeling safe or hiding myself away when it comes to interpersonal relationships I am beginning to venture out to make more connections to put myself back out there and to you know make connections after hiding for many years after trauma and because it, it does make you hide but i think this is the end of that and a step into self-mastery and being able to trust my own boundaries and that's when delilah is going to be coming off the shelf so guys that's it that was um, a tarot reading for who my doll is something a bit different and I've got to admit now I'll be putting her on the shelf now with a whole new role for her I think one of the biggest things in our doll collecting is sometimes it's difficult to put the dolls on a shelf and to know what to do with them then yes visually it's so beautiful to come and sit and look at dolls I get that. I mean, I'm a visual being. I'm a collector. I love to see collections of things lined up together. But uh, sometimes I want to go beyond that. And I want, I want roles for my dolls. And I want jobs. And I want dolls on adventures with me. And I want comfort dolls. And I want dolls that come down for specific jobs. I, I, I love that along with just the play aspect and the delight of dolls. I think it's really nice to have, if you want to, that additional element. And I think pulling this basic reading to get to know a doll is just perfect. So if you've loved that and you don't read tarot, but you've got Delilah, then by all means, you adopt this reading for your Delilah as well. Or if you've got Delilah, and you do read tarot you might want to do your own reading and see if it's different for you either way just take what resonates and leave the rest behind and again let me show you what the deck was in case you're interested it's the beautiful creatures tarot by J.R. Rivera Rivera an artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths and it's a beautiful deck for a doll room so now all that remains is me to pop Delilah up on the shelf and to welcome her into my collection. So let's do that now. So there she is guys up on my rainbow high shelf along with these three dolls here were all bought second hand for a pound each. Cheryl here was, born, was bought at the same time as Delilah so those two have been waiting the longest time to be opened and you can see above them I've got my um, shadow high dolls that are open so we are getting there with that, that collection what a beautiful collection of dolls of course now what I want to do is to get all my dolls down and do the same thing with them including the some of the Barbies I don't think all of the Barbies they're not calling as much to, to do that with but definitely I feel a call to do that with these shadow and rainbow high dolls. So Delilah, the empath and the lover of the doll shells, aiding me to see through smoke and, and smoke and mirrors of people and to trust my emotions and hold my boundaries in place. Fantastic. So just by knowing that about her when i place her down on my desk if she comes out for pride of place it's to support working with that now oh, i love that so let me know what you thought of that do you think that's a good idea do you want me to carry on doing that with my other dolls on here i really enjoyed it i hope you did too guys welcome delilah to the collection and i'll see you next time in the doll room bye guys